Hello, my name is Vanessa LaFranco, and I serve on the board of the National Federation of Republican Women, and I am the region director for your region, Region 2. Thank you so much for having me here today. With a scant 100 days until November 3rd, the 2020 presidential election is in full swing. But with coronavirus rapidly infecting global newspaper headlines and social media set ablaze with rioters, you would never know it. And that's just how bumbling Joe Biden's campaign team wants it. Safe and secluded in his mansion in Delaware, he speaks with complete philosophical and moral authority from the safety of a teleprompter. When he loses his train of thought and flatlines, as he so often does, his campaign team quickly pulls the plug on old Joe, killing the interview on the spot. But who needs live interviews, or debates for that matter, when the fake news media personalities, in a wholly self-serving effort to boost their own dying ratings, do the heavy lifting for you? They love whipping up their viewers with a frenzy of soundbite. Medicare for all, late-term abortion, open borders. <laughs> it is no secret that women hold the key to winning the White House in November. It was middle-class, suburban, Republican women vehemently rejecting the crazed ideology of the left that pulled Donald Trump over the finish line and into the White House over four years ago. And now our president is relying upon us once again. California's very, very liberal Governor Gavin Newsom has signed into law a bill that will send mail-in ballots to every single voter in the state. It requires officials to count all ballots received within 17 days of the election, provided it is postmarked by election day. 17 days, 17 days. What can happen in 17 days? Voter fraud, rejected ballots, tampered rolls, rigged elections that are decided by partisan judges. That's what can happen in 17 days. This is why it is so crucial that the California Federation of Republican Women quickly adapt to the use of technology and discard antiquated methods. Technology has empowered its users to revolutionize the manner in which they acquire information, conduct business, and develop relationships from a distance. It has a remarkable ability to instantly amend internal and external interactions with previously unknown immediacy. Its instantaneous speed enables us to mobilize information with greater knowledge and efficiency while eliminating unintended provocations in a matter of seconds. Without question, its swiftness, freedom, an overwhelming number of users has had a greater technological impact on the world's politicians than Gutenberg's 600-year-old printing press. Snail mail? It was once used extensively to garner voters' money and attention, but now it's become a very expensive campaign throwaway. Most local newspapers have gone out of business, and who doesn't first check caller ID before picking up and listening to a canned message on their iPhone. With a simple click of a button, the names of potential voters and donors who are statistically sharing your same political values are instantaneously available to you. Think of the time and the money so easily and effectively saved. Now, political parties have always relied on the opinion of campaign experts whose experience and startling stratagems have consistently led their candidates to victory. President Sue Blair is judiciously aware and has come to the realization if the California Federation of Republican Women's election goals are to become a reality, the CFRW must zealously move with the times and learn to hone the skills necessary to win in November. Becoming confident and assertive in your political expertise is imperative to the genuine commitment and determination of our cause. We are not social dilettantes, but serious members of a long established Women's Republican Federation, whose primary duty is to support women candidates and help them win their elections. This responsibility requires time, money, people, and most importantly, 
your own individual talent to use each asset wisely and win these campaigns. Now, I am not as an experienced hand in politics, which many of you certainly are, but I am seasoned enough to know that there are no gains without pain and very, very hard work. Bernard Shaw once said, democracy is a device that ensures that we shall be governed no better than we deserve. It is my humble opinion that our candidates will be easily blindsided by our political opponents' tactics if our membership does not take advantage of the technology's speed and sophistication by learning to utilize and harness its immense power. Republican women will for a second time be the key for the upcoming election. And we have the 2020 vision of President Trump back in the White House in November. Democrats can stir themselves into a nightmare with their manufactured mania, but Americans want results and President Trump keeps them coming. And against all odds, the quick draw scrapper has made America great again. Thank you.